Okay, so when we take a closer look at our housing, it's going to be easiest to get to it from the inside to do the porting. I'm going to pour a little in here. We're going to use it. You can use a Dremel tool or an air tool with a uh, round bit like this. Just we're going to smooth out in here, and then also in the exit hole around here where the sharp edges are, we're going to smooth out around in there. So that's going to aid in the oil flow. getting these sharp edges off because those are points of turbulence. There we go. Okay, and it should look something like this when you're done with this area all nice and smoothed out where the uh, pickup tube goes and also where it exits here. You want to take off these corners so it's, it has a nice smooth exit as well. Let me go ahead run through the parts washer or give it a good bath and carburetor cleaner, one of the two, to, uh, to get it nice and clean before we put it back together. Okay, then once you've got all your parts all perfectly clean, then we can go about uh, reassembling the oil pump. Now first, let's go ahead and put in our uh, pressure valve relief uh, piston here. Get it nice and oiled up with some, just some good 30 weight and drop it on in should slide in there very freely. Good. And then our next is our spring. Okay, and then before we put our cap on, we're going to put a shim in here. In this case, about a hundred thousandths thickness little nut will work and fit right in here. And that's going to uh, put more pressure on the pressure uh, relief spring here to give us uh, higher oil pressure. So go ahead and put that in there. Put your nut in here. And uh, also we're going to put a drop of Loctite on the on the plug here so let's wipe the plug off put a little drop on that